Hi, I'm Jana Ward. I'm 46 years old and I'm a general contractor in the city of San Antonio. Around San Antonio, I'm better known as the construction chick. Well, I remodel kitchens and baths. I do room additions and outdoor kitchens, but my specialty is kitchens and baths. So since I live in a home that's over 20 years old, I decided this year, or last year, 2011, that I would um, update my kitchen. Um, when I did my kitchen, I asked myself some of the same things I asked my customers. You know, how do you, do you cook a lot? How do you uh, move, maneuver around your kitchen? Do you have a lot of canned goods? Do you use a lot of spices? Do you use a lot of pans? You know, how big is your family? And those sort of things. So I decided that I want, you know, I wanted a more open kitchen because I wanted to, you know, interact with my family and friends when they come over. So um, I knocked out a wall, which you see right now. It used to have a little window here. And um, I converted to gas because I cook a lot and I like to cook with gas. Um, I also added a pot filler in, over the stove so that when I'm cooking soups and sauces, I don't have to walk around the island to get to that. So I can just add a little water as needed and, and stay right there at the stove cooking. I also use a lot of spices, so I added some spice pullouts and a dedicated spice cabinet for some of the larger spices. I didn't have a pantry, so I created a pantry. And with doing that, I found out that I had a lot of canned goods that were stuck underneath the island that I didn't know about. But let me pause right now. We're going to move the camera because I'd like to show you around my kitchen. So now let me show you around my kitchen. I added um, a pantry with pullouts, so now I can um, see how many cans of creamy mushroom soup and how many cans of tuna and that kind of thing. Um, how many jars of peanut butter? We had four when we moved over here. So that's um, a lot of added storage that I didn't have before. I also have, um, you know, our blender and our juicer. We like to juice and and um, make smoothies in the morning in our coffee maker. So these are all the, the way that we live. So that's the way I designed the kitchen. We also had a slide-in range here, which was kind of awkward to open the oven and to, you know, put things in and out. So I moved the oven over here and added storage. So now when I want to cook, I just grab a pan and I'm good to go. Got my gas burner here. We converted to gas. Got my pop filler so I can fill it up when I need to. So it's a very functional kitchen for me. I um, use a lot of spices, so I have my spice pullouts. And, you know, like olive oil and, and a lot of the tall stuff I can put over here. So the kitchen's very functional with an island that actually has pullouts that you can't see, but um, for all the storage of all my little um, kitchen tools and lots of storage, lots of drawers for storage. So thank you so much for allowing me to walk you around my kitchen. And um, I'll be right back with a couple other projects I'd like to share with you. Welcome back to our next project. Today, um, people are updating their homes and they're swapping out their doorknobs and their hinges from the ugly brass of 20 years ago to um, bronze and even brushed nickel. So today we're going to swap out some hinges. We've already done our doorknobs, so we're just going to take the hinges off today and swap them out. Might need another take. You know, I could probably take these off after we, after we, let's take this, we'll take it off the door and then we'll. There we go, we'll take the door off and we'll be right back. All right, so now let's put our hinges back on. Stomach's growling. Oops. Make sure we get them all straight before I tighten them up here.
gonna get a couple more screws. There you go. Now we've brought this door into the next century. So now we've only got 13 more to go. We'll see you on the next project. Thank you. Welcome back to our next project. Today I'm installing the glass mosaics in inside a shower that I'm remodeling. It's very delicate work. First you lay the bottom row. Careful, careful not to press too hard because the glass is not quite as thick as the tile. So and we want to make sure it's all straight. We'll add spacers later, but so that's our first row. And then the next row is another glass mosaic and we'll fill in the ends there. Um, after we've um, installed everything, we'll just drop a couple pieces of glass in there. Gotta push it hard enough so it doesn't fall off, but not too hard to where it, to where it's, um, pressed down in and thinner than the actual tile. It's very, very delicate work. Let's make sure everything's straight. We'll add spacers here in a minute. Let me get a couple more pieces here. For the top row, which we'll have to spread this out after we're done. the spacers but it's coming together there's a lot of intricate glass work in this shower we've converted this bathroom from a bathroom it was a tub and a shower and then a little um, area right in front of that so this was the shower that was the tub and then we had a walkway here into one big shower so we're gonna be very very happy when we're finished with this I'll need to add the spacers like we've done here and we'll do that in a minute, but for time-wise, we just wanted to show you what we're doing and it's gonna look fabulous when we're done. Thanks for coming to my last and third project. Um, I look forward to meeting you.